And the race is on to find a vaccine for coronavirus. But for now, many experts are looking at antibody testing to see the bigger picture of this virus. Antibodies are being used to save lives and to determine immunity. We spoke with a local cardiologist, Dr. Luisa Petrie, on when and what we can expect with this new kind of testing. MDA just got approved a week ago a test that's called Celex, and it's been used in the hospitals. Actually, we had already 3,000 tests done in Mount Sinai alone. Uh, but how that is going to be taken to a larger scale, it's going to be the next challenge. The challenge is to bring the antibody testing to the masses. However, Dr. Petrie says there's a priority list for who may get that testing first. To create an immune registry to understand who would be able to donate plasma to save lives. So this would be the first priority. Second would be to be able to test the uh, workers, their frontliners, like healthcare workers, police, EMT providers, and then we we'll, uh, understand who is able to go back to work safely. And when the mass antibodies testing finally reaches the general public in what could be a couple months, what might that look like? To have a rapid test for fingerprint antibodies testing. So uh, people will be in a situation if you want to travel or go to a large um, a sport event, you'll have to have a form of proof that you are not exposing other people and you are safe. Look, you travel with your dog, you take your pet to a different country, you have to carry an immunization history, the same if you go to a groomer. So unfortunately, we'll be uh, there in a few months and uh, until we have a vaccine available that will protect us. But the question remains, how long are you immune with antibodies or even when a vaccine is available? What we don't know right now, how long that immunity is going to last. Like, for instance, for the flu shot, you only have immunity for one season. But if you get a tetanus shot, you can have it for 10 years. Antibody surveillance would answer that because we can monitor someone six months from now, one year from now, are you still immune? The same would help us understand how effective vaccines will work. For now, Dr. Petrie is focusing on the positives. Within the Mount Sinai Hospital system, half of uh, COVID-19 patients were discharged. There is a wonderful thing they do in one of the Mount Sinai hospitals. Every time one patient is discharged from uh, COVID-19, they do play overhead the Beatles song, Here Comes the Sun. And it's a nice um, occasion to celebrate life and uh, how pre precious is that.